It's my birthday. What does it have to do with this review? This is actually a birthday gift. Shout outs to Zach for gifting me this. Amazing Bun Presto Glitter and Glamorous Mat X Materia Carifa. This figure looks amazing. I um he asked me like which which one piece character do you not have? And I actually forgot that I have the uh the Karifa in the swimsuit. I totally forgot about that one. But he got me this one, which now actually has the real costume. I'm totally fine with it because I love the design for Karifa. And uh, I, the swimsuit design was a little bit different. So, super excited for this one. Let's have a look at it. Attention all units! We got fan service on deck and in full force. Now let's have a look at the size real quick, starting off with that. Stands at about 24 centimeters to the top of her head, which means she's a little over nine and a half inches tall. Look in detail of the figure. Now, I usually have a look at the face, but I love this pose already. It's kind of reserved, but also sexy and nice. Like the sexy secretary going for the glasses and whatnot. That's a plus. Now, the uh, face sculpt, you have the glasses, which you can take off, but you have some holes on the side, so I wouldn't recommend it. She does have a little bit of a clear blue for her goggles, for her glasses. Goggles, what the hell? No, glasses, those are actually glasses. And the face is very nicely painted. You got the mouth a little bit open, a little bit cheeky, and the eyes are clean. The eyebrows also just align, and she has some tiny, tiny earrings. It's also nice for the most part. As far as the hair sculpt goes, I really love dynamic hair. Just flowing in the wind, you know, do something with it. Make it not boring, and I totally did that. There's a lot of strains that go down. Uh, I'm not sure, I'm thinking right now, it might have shading, but it might just be the light hitting it. Um, I think there's a little bit, a little bit in the middle part, making it look that much better by making it look darker. Now, what you might have noticed or might not have noticed, but this is like the best thing about the figure. This is something I love. They actually used real cloth for her entire fishnet stuff. This is not just painted on. This is not just molded on. This is actual real cloth that goes out throughout all her body and the legs, obviously. And that's really nice. I dig that. Yeah, I'm touching her boob right now, but I'm just trying to show you. This does bend, this is real cloth. It's probably, you, I, I'm thinking it's probably also easy to break, so be careful with that, but I think it's amazing. I, I just, that's one of the features. Like with capes, I love cloth capes. I love cloth if it's like, you know, stockings. I don't actually have a figure that actually has cloth stockings. I have some fishnet, I have a DC Zatanna figure. But regardless of that, yes, this is real cloth and it's amazing. As for the rest of the figure, the gold in her dress is nicely painted. It is very clean, nothing that goes over the line. And we have a little bit of wrinkles in her entire outfit to make it that much more pretty looking. Then for the gloves, the gloves are more shiny because that's supposed to be leather. We have a little bit of skin tone, which isn't the cleanest once again. The classic issue with uh, trying to paint over black. I think they tried to paint it over just like this little piece. Still covered it up nicely, but it, it has a little slip. It's not really an issue. And then you got the other hand, which is reaching for the glasses. It looks very nice. I mean, look at the figure. Look at just this, this angelic figure of the, the one piece specialty of having just exaggerated curves. This one, I mean, it's still exaggerated, but looking back on the one in the swimsuit, yeah, that one was just crazy. So, going down to her stockings, again with the fishnet. The seam in the back is a bit thick, haha, <laughs> thick, but I'm not, I'm not hating it. Not really an issue. And down to the shoes, which are once again shiny and have, unfortunately, some quality control, kind of like a scratch in the back. I don't know how that happened, but you know what? I don't care for that one because you will usually not display her from the back, unless you're really like a, bo a big fan of booty. Then you will see it all the time, but for the most part you will have a pose like that, or like that, or whatever, so you will not even see that in the back. So I'm okay with it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him a pass on that for once. And finally, it's Pansu time, if I can actually see it. There's Black, black Pansu, Pansu? Pansu? 
Black Ponsu. Can I, uh... No, this light is off. I have an extra light on my camera. But I need to recharge the battery. Yeah, it's just black in there. Uh, th this figure does not require any assembly, by the way. Because, like, a lot of Van Presto, you kind of have the top part and the lower part. And you connect these two. This figure is just, uh... You know, like that. In the packaging together. And now I can't get it back on the base. It does have packs on the feet. So you cannot display her without the base unless you're cutting off the packs. Which is a little bit of an issue if... You know, I mean, it's not really an issue because it's a really small base also. It doesn't take any space from it and I dig it. So, final thoughts for this figure. Yes, 100% yes. And I'm not saying that just because it was a birthday present. This is a band press though. So it's a little bit more of a budget type figure and... I mean, for a budget type figure, this is really, really, really good. The mold is great, the pose is great, the paint job on this one is very clean. To be fair, there's not really that much paint they had to do, but what what's there is done nicely, and uh, the cloth. Cloth and the stockings, cloth and the top, it's amazing. Also, this paint is kind of going a little bit off the mark, but yeah, it's just, it's just like, overall, also there's like the, uh, it's kind of going over, you know, the, the thighs are a little bit squeezed under the stockings, and they did that, they, did, they put that in the mold, and that's just another sexy detail. I'm not trying to be pervy, I'm just saying, like, doing something like that, that's the extra effort that you're going through. And that just shows how nice the mold is, all throughout the body, all throughout the sculpt, and yeah, it's fantastic. So I do recommend this one, 100%, go out and get yourself a Karifa, this one is indeed great. So once again, thank you to my buddy Zach for this amazing birthday gift, and I hope you enjoyed. As usual guys, thank you very much for watching, don't forget if you enjoyed this review, hit it up with a like and subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for more figure videos, gameplay stuff, and whatever Karifa wants.